Like a memory question. It's uh, like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, TV. This isolation station may cause frustration. We're going to put you to a test just like the commander in chief had. Yes, it's Ken Owen from his basement in Avon, Indiana. And this week, we have a theme. Bum, ba, da, da. Oh, yeah, we're going to do something that, um, well, we'll see how it goes because I'm really not sure where it's going to go. But the idea this week is to uh, have a show called Three of a Kind. And they really won't be three of a kind, but the three songs I play back to back to back will all have something in common. And on the back end of the three songs, I'll step in and try to explain, if I'm making sense today, what those things are. So here we are. This is the 18th time we've gotten together, the whoo, 12th since WGRE signed off the air. And since we're nearing late August and the end of summer, you know, we might as well look up to El Sol, our friend Mr. Sun, and worship and enjoy the heat and say, Linda Ronstadt, let that great voice of yours rip.
three of a kind is today's theme, and we began the show with Heat Wave, Linda Ronstadt, and man, that woman can sing. Ho, ho. You know, it, when you were younger, you just, you knew she was a, a great singer, but now you listen and, whoa, those pipes, um, unrivaled. After that, we heard Third World, 1865, 96 degrees in the shade, kind of hanging out of that heat wave thing, right? Three of a kind. And then we went to Candy in the Sun. You could be ice cream in the sun. That's that's treacherous. That's not good. But Candy in the Sun is sweet. And here we are in August with Swirl 360. That uh, was kind of an experiment that involved a lot of really talented songwriters and musicians and they, uh, they essentially tried to cook up a hit record in the studio using the best minds. And it didn't quite work. But it is ear candy, and uh, it's also ear candy in the sun. So that's why I played it to round out our first set today. We're trying to uh, put together a theme today that uh, takes three songs. And at the, at the back end of it, your old friend here, who has been uh, alone too long in his basement... We'll come around and try to explain what the heck he was thinking when he put those three songs together. And so here we go again. We're going to go to, um, actually, if if you're my age, I'm 59, uh, and if you are, I'm sorry. But if you're my age, (laughs) sorry, I had to throw that in. It's isolation stuff. You know what the grocery store was like in the 1960s, and... You go to the grocery store today and you hear like REO Speedwagon and uh, Foreigner and, um, gosh, Linda Ronstadt, right? But back in the day uh, when our parents were our age or much younger even, here we go, they would play elevator music and it would be uh, some cheap knockoff of a song that you might know, you probably did, you probably loved it, and it probably was a rock song of the day, but they didn't dare play the rock version in the grocery store because someone would drop the ice cream or the split peas and, you know, run and call the police. So they played these songs. And so this is the second set of our Three of a Kind show, and we're going to start with um, Just Imagine You're Pushing a Cart Down the Aisle, and it's 1969, and you have a beehive hairdo, and... Uh, Richard Nixon is giving a speech somewhere. That's about where we are.
Remember, remember that stupid TV ad from the 70s, <laughs> that game where you had to remember where the pieces went? Well, can you figure out the theme is my question today. And, of course, that one was kind of a no-brainer. The Beatles! We had Amy Mann and her husband, Michael Penn, a great pair of songwriters and singers in their own right, and even more wonderful together, uh, Two of Us, the Beatles song. Before that, Robert Palmer with a cover of a rarely heard a Beatles song. It's a B-side. A lot of people don't know. Not a second time from his Clues record. 
And we started with Ronnie Aldrich and Michelle, a 1966 cover. I mean, these guys were like right on top of it because there was a market for it. And he covered that song, I'm sure, once it hit the uh, charts <laughs> because he knew there were supermarkets a go go that would play it. And here we are in 2020. What's that? Uh, 54 years later, playing it again. But there's something really magical about those versions, I think. And I actually, I collect them. <laughs> they're uh, they're fun to play late at night because they take you to a place where we're not probably going to go again. And that's probably a good thing. It's Ken Owen from the Isolation Station on probation. It's show number 18 overall, and it's the 12th since I went off WGRE. They uh, they finally called it a semester after sending the students home, and I was happy to provide six shows for them, but I decided to keep doing this thing on the Internet, and it's been fun. So thanks for supporting it and uh, chipping in with good comments and all the fun that's happened. It's been a lot of fun for me to do it. Speaking of moving it forward, here's Bob Dylan. Nellie Kelly loved baseball games, knew the players, knew all their names. You could see her every day shouting hurrah when they play. Her boyfriend by the name of Joe said to Coney Island, dear, let's go. Then Nellie started to fret and pout, and to him I heard her shout. Take me out to the ball game, take me out with the crowd, buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back, let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame, for it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Nellie Kelly was sure some fan. She could root just like any man. Told the umpire he was wrong, all along good and strong. When the score was just two to two, Nellie Kelly knew what to do. Just to cheer up the boys she knew, she made the game sing this song. And I just sang it for you.
It went zooming across the left field wall. Yeah, boy. Yes, yes, Jackie hit that ball. And when he swung his bat, the crowd went wild because he knocked that ball a solid mile. Yeah, boy. Yes, yes, Jackie hit that ball. Satchel Page is mellow, so is Caponello. New come at Dobie too. But it's a natural fact when Jackie comes to bat, the other team is through. Did you see Jackie Robinson hit that ball? Did he hit it? Yes, and that ain't all. He's so old. Yes, yes, Jackie's real gone. Yeah, Count Basie and his orchestra. Did you see Jackie Robinson hit that ball? Before that, we had the Intruders. Love is like a baseball game. Three strikes, you're out. There are also some other baseball analogies you can tie to the romantic world, but this is a family broadcast. We'll keep it there. And it began with Bob Dylan. He sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game. So, as you can see, all three of those songs tie into baseball. That was an easy one. These next three are going to be a little tricky. But because I'm a full disclosure guy, I got to say, in between the time it took me to record the last track and this track, I dropped my iPhone in the sink. I've got some dishes soaking there. That's another story for another day. But I think the phone was in the water for about four seconds. I was talking to my friend Jeff Brisbane, and whoop, there it went. I got it out, and uh, it did not look good. My next-door neighbor, Kirk Dooley, gave me some uh, uncooked rice, and I put it in uh, with that overnight. And today, I was able to get it going again. So, a uh, tumultuous three songs there because uh, in between, it looked like there was not going to be a voice track or that old Uncle Ken was going to have to fork over for a new iPhone, which is never a pleasant experience, but it's about time anyway. Nonetheless, as I said, the next three will be a bit more for the, uh, let's say, upper-level musicologists. And we're going to start this set with Stevie Wonder. Figure out how these three fit together, friends. People hand in hand Have I lived to see the milk in honey No 
autumn comes around I know just what I say Today is not yesterday And all things have an ending But what I'd like to know Is good a place like this exists so beautiful Or do we have to find our wings and fly away To the vision in our Your smiling face or touch your hand If just 
once more I could see you are home and our little baby Indiana wants me but I can't go back there Indiana wants me but I can't go back there I wish I had you to talk to Shame I put you through and all the tears Hang on love to the memories of those happy years Red lights are flashing around me Yellow but it looks like they found me of a kind this time around on the isolation station on probation. Diana Ross and the Supremes with Love Child, a song that was co-written and co-produced by R. Dean Taylor, who preceded that song with Indiana Wants Me, his only U.S. hit of substance, and he had a couple in Canada, 
But uh, I grew up in Chicago. We had a summer house in Indiana, and I always loved that song. Uh, I love the label. The Rare Earth label was like orange. But um, yeah, and there was something really interesting about that song in that R. Dean Taylor was one of the few Motown acts who was white. And the set began with Stevie Wonder, Visions, and what tied those three songs together? Well, I kind of just gave it away. All three fell under the umbrella of the Motown label. Based in Detroit, largely African-American, great soul music, legendary stuff, and those are three of a kind, although uh, the fit is kind of unusual. I bet you wouldn't have guessed that. We're into something like 160 days since the pandemic began. These are strange days. They're not getting any less strange yet. And this song, which kicks off another three-song set, uh, sums up where we are in a pretty good way. We're on rocky ground and looking for a different place. Bruce Springsteen on the isolation station on probation. I'm a Shepherd rise up. Here for lock is wrong, far from the hill. Stars have faded, the sky is still. The angels are shouting, glory and hallelujah. We've been traveling. Forty days and nights of rain have washed this land. Jesus said the money changers in this temple will not stand. Find your flock, get them to higher ground. Flood waters rising, Canaan bound.
on a beach Kicked around displaced by feet All our broken stones You're out trying to get home Like a loser's reach Too slow and short to hit the peaks
Once more, Charlie with feeling. Aha, the Rolling Stones, Brown Sugar, classic on the isolation station on probation. And I assume you figured out what those three songs have in common. All about rocks, right? We had Paul Weller before that with Broken Stones. And we started the set with Rocky Ground, Bruce Springsteen from his Wrecking Ball album. It's Ken Owen bringing you music from his basement in Avon, Indiana, trying to do a theme show this time around, and hopefully it's going all right. We're going to start this next set with uh, Bobby Hebb, and he wrote this song in 1963. In fact, he penned this 48 hours after November 22nd. Uh, That was the day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated, and Hebb's older brother was stabbed to death outside a Nashville nightclub. His idea, he said, was he was hoping to express his preference for having a sunny disposition over the lousy feelings he was having at that time. It's a great song, been covered by a lot of people, and we enjoy it today. Sunny, yesterday my life was filled with rain. Sunny, you smiled at me and really eased the pain. Now the dark days are done and the bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere. Sunny one so true, I love you. Sunny, thank you for the sunshine you okay. Sunny, thank you for the love you brought my way. You gave to me your all in all. And now I feel ten feet tall. Sunny one so true, I love you. Sunny, thank you for the truth you let me see. Sunny, thank you for the facts from A to Z. My life was torn like windblown sand. Then a rock was formed when we held hands. Sunny, sunny one so true, I love you. Sunny, thank you for that smile upon your face. Mm, sunny, thank you, thank you for that gleam that flows with grace. You're my spark of nature's fire. You're my sweet, complete desire. Sunny one, so true. Yes, I love you. Sunny, yesterday, oh, my life was filled with rain. Sunny, you smiled at me and really, really eased the day. Now the dark days are done and the bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere Sunny one so true I love you I love you I love you Is one and the night has been. 
That man is abundantly talented. David Mead from his Tangerine album, Suddenly a Summer Night. How beautiful that is. Preceded by Crowded House talking about the Saturday sun. You got to have sun before you have that summer night, right? And the set began with Sunny, Bobby Hebb reflecting on life and uh, putting a spin on things, which is where Bing Crosby is at these days. to accentuate the positive feeling 
Minded to negative, latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In-Between. You got to spread joy up to the maximum. Bring gloom down to the minimum. Have faith or pandemonium. Liable to walk upon the scene. To illustrate his last remark, Jonah in the whale, Noah in the ark. What did they do just when everything looked so dark? Man, they said we better accentuate the positive, eliminate it the negative, latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, do not mess with Mr. In Between. Do you hear me? Listen to me, chillin' Anna. You will hear about the eliminating of the negative and an accent on a positive. And gather round me, chillin', if you're willing, and sit tight while I start reviewing the attitude of doing right. You gotta accentuate the positive feeling, ain't the negative. Latch on. To the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Between. You got to spread jar up to the maximum. Bring gloom down, down to the minimum. Otherwise, Otherwise, and the podium liable to walk upon the scene. To illustrate, well, illustrate my last remark. You got the floor. Jonah, Jonah in the whale, well, Noah in, in the ark. What did they say? What did they say? Say when everything looks so dark. Man, they said we better accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between.
For the Moon by Poco. And a little Ken Owen trivia. The very first rock and roll interview I ever conducted, actually there were two that day, were at the Cloverdale Holiday Inn. Poco and John Hall, who later became a congressman, and in between had organized the uh, No Nukes concert out in California. Um, That song uh, asks us to kind of, you know, look beyond the stars and think of something big. And before that, we had Utopia, I Look for the Up. I think about that song almost every day. I look for the up, I think of the up. I mean, you can choose to be down, but look for the up, right? And the set began with Bing Crosby, Accentuate the Positive. So we're all looking outside of ourselves in those three songs, trying to find a place where we can get through these crazy times. And speaking of time, it's About time to wrap this thing up. The Isolation Station on probation. This is show number 18 overall and the 12th since WGRE went off the air for the spring. They're a joy to put together. Thanks for listening. I really do appreciate it. And because we just have one song left, it's one song with three of the same words. Turn, Turn, Turn. Written by Pete Seeger. Performed here by The Birds. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon. And I'll say it three times. Be safe, be safe, be safe. Everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plan, a time to read, a time to a time to heal, a time to laugh.
Everything 